A Clockwork Orange is a film released in 1971. It was directed by Stanley Kubrick, based on a novel by the same name by Anthony Burgess, and it stars Malcolm McDowell. One thing about Kubrick is that although his tactics when directing films is definitely questionable, he is definitely a master of his craft. To this day, he is the only director I've ever seen make more than one movie that was basically flawless in every way. I can't even say the same thing about Steven Spielberg, who in my opinion is technically the better director. Most people know Kubrick for his 1980 masterpiece, The Shining. In my opinion, both films are almost flawless in every way. But A Clockwork Orange does have a slight edge to me simply because it's more meaningful, it's far more subtle, and to me, it seems like there's much more dedication that went into the making of Clockwork than went into the making of The Shining. Unfortunately, A Clockwork Orange, while still a classic, does get the short end of the stick when in a lot of Kubrick discussions, and I can honestly understand why. This movie is bizarre. The plot is kind of hard to explain, but it is really interesting. The film takes place in future England, where gangs roam the streets, and the main character happens to be the leader of one of these gangs. However, when he is caught murdering a woman, he is sent to prison and has his right of moral choice taken away from him in a government experiment. The film is very interesting, and one of my favorite parts about it is the dialogue. The screenplay is very strange and often very hard to understand because of the way words are put together. But unlike in a lot of modern films, where if you miss even one syllable, the whole entire movie can be lost, I was never confused when watching A Clockwork Orange because I got the gist of what they were saying and that was enough, and I really liked that about this film. This movie is also very subtle, and a lot of things, such as the fact that it takes place in the future, aren't directly told to the viewer. However, you can figure it out if you turn on your brain. It's probably one of the best movies I've seen in regards to the show-don't-tell rule. I wouldn't recommend A Clockwork Orange to anyone just getting into film, but personally, I loved this movie. And with that being said, I give A Clockwork Orange a 9.5 out of 10.